All right, and boom. What is up, everyone? It's me, J-Rod, the filmmaker, former film major, frequent fighting gamer from Philadelphia, and we have some fighting game news announcements that we will be reacting to right now. Actually, two of them. So yesterday was Summer Games Fest, and I did originally intend to stream Summer Games Fest live, but I actually I, I had a prior commitment. I went to go see Bad Boys 4 yesterday, um, about the same time the Summer Games Fest started. So um, it was really good, Bad Boys. It was a fun movie, probably one of the best in the franchise, definitely the best new one um, to come out in a while, really funny. But I was like, I'm still going to check out Summer Games Fest. I'll just watch it um, the next day, which is today, the day I'm recording this. It's the day after. And so I will still be streaming Summer Games Fest today, later on around the afternoon. But there was only one reveal that got spoiled for me. And it's probably the most important one. I don't know if there are any other fighting game reveals at Summer Games Fest or any other reveals for games that I'm particularly interested in. But this one... I know for a fact that I'm interested in because it is a fighting game reveal and it got spoiled for me just because I love fighting games so I'm in a bunch of fighting game communities on Facebook and I follow a bunch of fighting game content creators on Twitter and YouTube and so it was almost impossible for me to miss this announcement um, you know like in a perfect world people would I don't know. It's hard to say because, you know, I wasn't watching Summer Games Fest yet, so I wish that, you know, it wouldn't have gotten spoiled for me. But how are you supposed to make content for a reveal like this without spoiling it, without putting the characters in the thumbnail and putting their names in the title and showing the picture and like, here's the new characters coming to Street Fighter VI in year two? Um, it's, it's pretty much impossible. So I don't blame anyone for getting spoiled. It just happens sometimes. Maybe I should have stayed off Twitter um, but we do have our year two character reveals and if that wasn't enough today We got a gameplay trailer for one of these characters So these characters are probably coming sooner than anyone has ever expected I feel like year year one literally just ended. What is today? The eighth year one ended less than a week ago six days ago was our official uh, one-year anniversary of Street Fighter 6 we just got Akuma, it feels like. I did my Akuma New Main Alert video. Check that out if you haven't already. And it's just because of the frequency of fighting game reveals. You know, it has been a little bit of time since I did that Akuma video, but it doesn't feel like a lot of time because right after that, we went into multiverses. And then right after that, we got Homelander in Mortal Kombat 1. That video is out right now as well. And there's just so much fighting game content to keep us entertained that all they just seem like they're back to back to back to back to back to back, especially if you're following multiple games. So we do have our year two character reveal trailer that we are going to react to now. And then we do have our first gameplay trailer for the what I'm assuming is the first character in year two. Now, I know what all the characters are. I've seen the picture. I saw a still picture. But I haven't seen this reveal trailer, so I'm still excited to check it out. And then the gameplay trailer I have not seen at all. So I'm really excited for that one. But I guess without further ado, let's get into it, you know? No point in me saying who it is because we're about to react to it right now. And also, they're probably in the title and the thumbnail. Like I said, it's hard to, to hide things like that. But without further ado, let's check out the Street Fighter VI Year 2 character reveal trailer. It's pretty short, but very important. Oh, it's... uh animatic a little little animated oh no way they're playing street fighter we got luke and jamie playing street fighter 2d animated and our boy terry bogart just busts right in <laughs> wait what were they doing that kind of looked like the hop on street fighter 6 meme and May is May also um, King of Fighters. I'm hyped for this one. Elena. Wow. I know there's one more character, so how are they gonna reveal this last one? Okay. I guess every pack needs a villain, right? And here we go, our year two character reveal. M. Bison coming in summer 
which is right now, so probably very soon. I, I feel like he has to. He might not come this month, but he has to be here by at least next month, right? That's for summer. Terry Bogart coming in autumn 2024. Elena coming in the spring. And May, or is it my? I will look into it. Coming in winter 2025. Damn, that's so insane. But to focus on the characters, I am really, really hyped for Terry and really, really hyped for Elena. The other two, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit hyped for them. Um, like I said, in Bison, I feel like every pack has to have a villain at this point. May or my, not really familiar with her, but I think she might also be uh, a SNK character. I literally have, like, I have a lot of SNK games. Um, I have a couple Fatal Furies. I have uh, The Last King of Fighters. I just don't play them that much, so I'm not too familiar. But, yeah, I think that's what they're going on. Two guest characters, two uh, Street Fighter characters, returning Street Fighter characters. I'm excited that they have guest characters because I think that, I mean, guest characters are just fun, right? And the, the Japanese fighting games, Tekken and Street Fighter, are a little less likely to do guest characters. Or if they do, they do guest characters, but they'll do it less often, less guest characters, you know. And I think that makes it a little more special to get a guest character in Street Fighter or in uh, Tekken. Me personally, they've been doing these little anime tie-in collaboration things. I feel like they should have put Spy Family characters, Yor and Lloyd, in Street Fighter VI when they did that collab. And they should have put Baki, Hamna, maybe Baki and Yujiro Hamna in Tekken 8. I think those are just such obvious, easy, and really good guest characters for both games. Um, technically, there's still a chance because we don't even know the last two characters that are coming to Tekken in uh, year one. So there is still a chance for a guest character there. Technically, there's still a chance for Baki. It could be somebody else. Um, but we know for Street Fighter, at least, these are our guest characters for now. So if we do get anyone else, it won't be until year three. But it's crazy to believe that year one is over and year two starts now i love like paying attention to the time the, the time windows that these games drop their dlc and announce their dlc because a lot of the big fighting games kind of do something similar you know they all have a year one sort of dlc plan they're all probably gonna have more in year two so seeing that about not i mean the same week that year one ended for street fighter we got our year two character reveal and we will probably have our first year two character soon but we got to check out his trailer just to be certain about that oh yeah his date is right down there i don't know if y'all saw that and he's probably going to be coming in july but he is coming at the end of this month so even sooner than i expected but let's see how he's gonna play i literally just bought the year one character pass yesterday bro so i just got like i already had aki but now i have three brand new characters that i played a little bit i've done new main alert videos with all of them but i feel like i haven't really dove into rashid and ed and akuma i just played them a little bit so now until you know as we're going into year two i still got the year one characters that i feel like i gotta unlock their potential same thing with homelander in mortal kombat one my controllers were pretty like effed when i first started learning homelander so all my combos sucked i dropped everything i'm actually really starting to commit the homelander combos to memory they're not the super extravagant ones i'm not even gonna do like two uh flight cancels in my combo because you know there's a, there's a bit of a bug there now where it's supposed to take meter but it doesn't take meter so i'm still doing simple combos but i'm hitting my combos very consistently with homelander now just goes to show that you know even though Everybody wants to be like instantly good at these games and instantly good with these characters. Sometimes it takes time. So let's see what M. Bison is going to look like and how much time it might take me to get cracked with him. Although I feel like Street Fighter is a little more general. It's a little easier to learn because you can learn the fundamentals and then, uh, you know, adapt that to any character. Whoa, look at our boy on a horse. I saw a picture of his like render. It's like, bro, why he look like that? Do I resemble this man you call Bison? I shall take that name for myself. He looks sick. Did he lose his memory? 
Oh. Okay, I've never played Bison. Seriously. Oh, oh. Ooh, that flip kick. Yo, is that his throw? What was that? I know he's the psycho power guy. Like the the main psycho power big bad. Oh what the fuck? What is he doing? Can someone please? Dive kicks, dive punches. That is level one. This dude is kind of cracked. Oh, the classic skin. Probably gonna be his outfit too. What is my man doing there in the air? He's bullying the f out of guy right now. Yo, he's sick, bro. So much, like, utility, so much movement. Wow. Wow, that's super so good. This OD move. Hey yo. Hey yo, anybody? That was one of the craziest gameplay trailers I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> he went crazy in that. Bison, what? This is making me I now I feel like I got to go back to Street Fighter 5, Street Fighter 4 and try him out a little bit. He was going absolutely stupid in this. Lore-wise, it seems like he doesn't even know he's Bison. Um, but he still has all the powers, all the things. Also, I think someone was saying that, like, in Akuma's ladder ending, he mentioned Bison and maybe trying to take out Bison, take him off the map. So apparently he didn't do that successfully. It started off pretty normal. I'm going to be honest. The, when they were showing the normals, they were showing his strings... I'm like, yeah, it looks like a really nice, hard-hitting character. When they start showing his special moves and his supers, he started going stupid. I thought that that flip kick was going to be one of the coolest things he did. And that throw. This, I don't even know. What was that some sort of psycho parry? Jury hit him and went flying. <laughs> oh, okay. I think he put that on her during the throw. See, look, yeah, he has this. she had a psycho bomb on her. And the thing just went off. This sort of uh, spinal arrow thing that he has that can be OD through projectiles, can start combos. This fucking dive bomb where he goes head first. I really can't. It's I can't. It's just so much going on so fast. This is one of the gr like craziest reveal trailers they've dropped ever. I think this one clears... This one easily clears Rashid, Aki, and Ed. Maybe it's between this one and Akuma for the sickest reveal, but... Damn, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Who do you think had the better gameplay trailer? Akuma or M. Bison here? Fuck, this one is so good, though. And I can't wait to try him out. And we're not going to be waiting that much. It's going to be later this month. So I'm going to put that on my calendar. The week of June 26th, when he comes, that's going to be when we do his new main alert. We're going to try to do it week one, unless there's a scheduling conflict. But, damn, man. This is crazy. And it seems like, I think Street Fighter just doesn't want to lose any momentum. Because I think they do have a lot of momentum after year one. The Akuma patch was pretty good. Um, it is the season two, like, balance patch. So a lot of characters did receive some buffs. We got Lily winning tournaments now, you know. Um, Marissa got a buff here and there. I haven't seen her 
more represented in tournament, but you know, she's still there. If you're worried about Elena's new skin, you see that we got the M. Bison classic skin as his outfit too. So they'll probably do the same thing for Elena. I am excited to see what Terry's uh, outfit too is gonna look like. And then we'll probably also eventually get outfit threes for the characters. I'll skip on them because I uh, got the money for outfit threes, but I'm very excited for these characters. So that is going to be it for both the year two character reveals and the M. Bison gameplay trailer. He is coming June 26th, and all of these characters are coming soon after. So I'm very excited for this. I did want, like, the main character I asked for to be in this was Sakura. And I'm trying to think if there's anyone else. The only other characters I want are, like, really weird big characters like the big grapplers like q abigail birdie i just want really weird ass characters in addition you know i think there's a like there's a really good variety of characters in street fighter 6 another goofy big body grappler type i think would be great Q's the one with the trench coat right i think that's the one i want the most because he, his design is just so strange to me and so different and i've never really played him in a street fighter game but we shall see we already got year two so now i gotta wait until year three for the next uh chance at some other characters but i think they did a really good job with these i'm i think i'm gonna enjoy them but guys you gotta tell me how you feel about this year two character pack and the m bison gameplay trailer and the only way to do so the only way you can communicate to me since this is a fighting game channel is through combos so do me a favor and hit me with boom the three hit combo i need to smash the like button like and bison spear the subscribe button like terry bogart and kick the notification bell like elena if you are excited for the year two uh character pass for street fighter six uh yeah that's gonna be about it like i said i do have all the year one characters i played of new main alert videos with them so check out their videos or the street fighter playlist which will have all my street fighter videos in it i just a couple days ago or oh, yesterday i just uploaded my homelander gameplay uh, in new main alert so check that out the week before we did multiverses playing jason and banana guard for new main alert so yeah check out the new main alert playlist as well if you want to see all the different characters in all the different fighting games that i've played throughout the years and like i said subscribe if you want to see more and you want to see me play with all these year two characters if you have to do so a little bit extra um i do have channel memberships so you can join as a channel member it gives you channel badges it gives you emotes it gives you exclusive content i have two playthroughs that are only for channel members and i will be working on more so every single month i will work on something exclusive for the channel members and if you want to request characters say you want to see me play m bison in street fighter 4 or something or you want to see me play terry bogart in king of fighters 15 well you can request that if you are a channel member if you are a channel member at the highest tier you can request characters you can request games you can request to play games with me if you want to go one-on-one -on -one in one of these channel members are allowed to do all of that so consider joining but if not the subscription is more than enough we're on our way to a thousand subscribers so every subscription matters and guys that's going to be it for this one so thank you for joining me tell me how you feel about the street fighter six year two characters and in bison and tell me if you feel me i'll see you next time in another new one peace out you got that girl No sweat. Quitality. Homelander win. Yeah, I guess. <laughs>